MastroWine.tv Back in business with my darling Tina. How are you, sweet darling? Wonderful. Thank Beautiful. you, Berta. Oh, I, you know, I, I, I tell you all the time, like, when I'm close to you, I got goosebumps. It's unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I got electricity in my hair, too. It's pretty impressive, Tina. You know? What um, we're going to do today for this show, it's actually Italians, typical grapes. Most of the time we're scared for Italian wines, and I'm sure probably, Tina, you don't buy much of Italians, just because the names are, like, too complicated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Correct? You don't and, really uh, know what you're buying. Right, right. And plus, if you don't pronunciate something right, mm -hmm. you're kind of scared to uh, ask for it. So yeah. let's try to take this off out of our, our mentality. It's ask more questions to people, you know, let's get out there in a wine store and ask as much as you can, as many questions as you like. That's the right place where you shop. And that's also what we're going to do today. We're going to try a typical grape variety in white called Grillo, G-R-I-L-L-O, from Sicily in 2005, from Terre del Grillo producer. Very typical and very characteristic. Mm, that smells... Very fruity, like it is. It's grapefruit, especially white, yeah, apricot, grapefruit. white grapefruit. Yeah, a little bit of grapefruit, a little bit of citrus uh, to it, especially because the age, and also what it's particular about it is the honey. That's a very distinctive flavor, and you know, part of the bouquet of this wine is the honey. I think honey it lavender. kind of calms down the acidity in the uh, exactly. in the wine. <laughs> the acidity is great, especially in white wine, is very important. And for most of the white wines, when you buy them, you should drink them between six months to a year. Because oh, the acidity, that. that's what it makes a, a white wine crispy, clean, and refreshing. Okay. More time you're going to leave this wine in your cellar or you're going to store it, and less acidity you're going to have. So more of this quality you're going to lose. Nice and simple. You see, we, we learned something interesting about whites. Step one on the red, another very interesting... Uh, and very popular grape variety from the Abruzzi region, also grown in Tuscany, which is the Montepulciano. Montepulciano, uh, this producer in particular I love, which is Valle Reale, uh, coming from a noble family. Abruzzi, central east of Italy, 2005 vintage. <coughs> this is another red tina that I love with everything. I would drink this for my regular meal, my regular lunch with a sandwich, mm -hmm. with some pizza, with everything. Drink it by itself when I get back from work, you know what I mean? I gotta sit down in front of my desk in my studio, relax. Now how so. about aging this wine? This one can age a little bit more. <laughs> if you see, it has a little bit of bite on the finish, that's mm -hmm. because tiny, it's a little young, but that's, uh, it would be good to go in six months, it's okay. not a question. And hopefully we give them a few information uh, or something new from Italian's products. Thank you very much, guys. You must love wine because wine loves you all the time, every day. Ciao.